I guess we need it for here, possibly. Nah, I still can't make that jump. What if I do it from here? Oh, no. Wait, there's a guy up there now. Oh, I couldn't make this. This is where I need to go. Okay. Right. All right. Oh, I still have a point left. Tazen Commander PS847 Jaffa. Screw this. How long is Crotera going to keep us on guard duty? The Kameda won't ever find us here. We totally trashed the humans, and it's not like we could defend ourselves if the Imperial Army actually did find us now. I assume it means us now. There's no reason to stay armed and alert when we finally found a safe place. When we should rebuild what little we have instead of spending all our resources on weapons and research. How much do they think they can pull off of this space rock anyway? I'm starting to even wonder if the humans are as hostile as we thought, or if Crotera's new position is just getting to them. The guy's a walking insult to hell sorry. Still, orders are orders. I don't want to lose my own head. We've come this far. And I want some more damage. I'm about to max this damage stat out right now. I really hope there's not a way you can, like, get stuck because you don't have a certain upgrade. That'd be really dumb. Just saying. Just saying, saying. This high security door can only be opened by cracking a terminal above. You can also try cracking the door directly, but I doubt you can handle it. What's that supposed to mean? What? The door is hard to crack. I didn't mean to insult you. Drop the attitude. You're making this difficult. Hmm. Like you survived one minute in my shoes. What? I can't hear you when you whisper like that. Now crack the door directly or find the terminal. Fine. Crack level three. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that. Bam, bam, ba, da, bam, 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 ba, ba, kick, die. Wait, what the? Oh, you didn't die? Uh, Iggy, you really shouldn't be going in there unless you know what you're doing. Even if you manage to crack that door, Tazen Elite patrols the room beyond. I'll do what I want, okay? I don't need my little brother boss me around. <clears throat> yeah, fuck everything. Freaking crack levels. I guess I am doing it right. But now I want to go in there. An elite? I want to go in there, but I don't have enough points to level up now. Damn. Oh well. Not important. Tazen Center of Information. Nanotechnology for you and me becoming a fighting machine. As a Tayson cyborg, your body is maintained and run by a personal nanofield. The most important aspect of the nanofield is its ability to be reprogrammed, like a freeform supercomputer. The nanogun is a small shape-shifting factory that builds the projectiles and fires mechanisms needed, given the right programming. And then with the nanofield can connect to another by physical contact. While this has created a cracker subculture, each nanofield has a range of security measures to keep even the most severe malfunctions from lethally harming the user. Furthermore, it is, deny, it is nigh unbeatable as a physical armor, to the point where basically only nano weapons can scratch someone wearing a nano field. Throwing one field into another is highly damaging, letting strong users engage in melee combat with daily results, but actual weapons revolving around this concept were found to be resource ineffective. Especially exceptionally powerful nano weapons such as the Phantom Hammer can disintegrate lesser nano fields with ease. Ooh, a hammer. I like hammers. Oh, I can't do this still. I want a hammer? Hammers sound nice, actually. Get out of here. You get out of here. Get down there. Get down there. Yay. Oh, well, I finally made a mistake. Yeet! Alright. 
What if I just didn't listen to everything he said and like up or and I literally just upgraded the complete different things? Will I just be stuck then? I'm curious. I'm oddly curious if we just go against everything my brother says. Whatever. We almost maxed out damage anyway. We'll be fine. It has to be possible or else they wouldn't make it possible to, you know, max out damage. Huh? There's a balcony up there. EG, don't go out there. What? Why not? Because I don't want you to see what it looks like. You're not ready yet. What do you mean not ready? I just want to take a look around. But you won't like it. Trust me. It's for your own good. Gee, stop hiding everything from me. I'd like to know what's going on around here too. Maybe I'd just like to get some fresh air for once. See what this taste in spaceship looks like. But just be careful up there, okay? Hmm. No. There. He. He said there was only one. Holy crap. Damn. Iggy, leave me alone, you, you liar. Listen, I tried to warn you. I lied because there was no way you'd agree to do this otherwise, but now you know. The Tazen command an entire armada, and the Alpha struck the whole planet. The strike was a weak one to avoid destroying the surface completely, but the human survivors are few. This complex is the center of the Tazen colony, which is why they left it intact. We can only assume they will eventually spread to the rest of the planet. I know it's not much of a world to save, but... It's just a dream, isn't it? Stay calm. You have to trust me. You have to believe that we can convince Cortera to make them leave. But I'm not some kind of... I was just... Damn it, I knew this happened. Everything. All this will be for nothing unless you make it to Cortera. We'll make it, okay? Okay. Good. I should have told you earlier to leave your feelings behind. I forgot you haven't been around for the last six months. Right. I'm sorry, I don't want to be me either. Alrighty then. The music has changed. We've been only 35 minutes, really? I thought it's been a little longer than that. Did you listen carefully now? This is Sector 3, where Elite Crotera is stationed. There's another powerful upgrade nearby that'll help you survive. We don't know if Crotera will choose to listen to you, but I don't have any backup plans until I've obtained more information. I know he's not the friendliest guy around, and it's going to be dangerous, but... Okay, gotta get the upgrade, find Crotera. Are you sure you're okay now? Like, you don't want to do this. No, I'm fine. I can't run around being scared if we're going to save the world. Hey, that's more like it. Are you going to trust me now? Yeah, I'll try harder to follow orders. Thanks, Dan. Don't mention it. Now, to find the upgrade and Crotera, you'll have to get to another building in this complex. Sector 3 is split up between this building and the next one. Head down to ground level and enter the first structure you see. Got it. Wait, can I even crack this? Nope. Tazen soldiers, NS-204. Fick. Resonance reflectors. A rare Kamado weapon, the resonance reflector, can bounce enemy projectiles away. Your kill counter will consider hitting enemies with their own projectiles in act of aggression. So keep it in mind, you're planning to frag someone I don't care about that. Yeah! Damn, I can't even crack these basic doors. Oh well. Yeah! Yeah! Oh shit, I actually took damage. I'm really just, just literally not even caring now. They're come at me. I'm missing all the extra weapons, but who needs extra weapons when you got a shotgun? Got a shotgun. 
the fool getting shot. Oh, just touching stuff deals damage to you. That's really stupid, but that's okay. I understand now. What's down here? Huh? I can see how this game could probably be hard. Tazen Soldier PI-595 PTSA Overkill? I never thought I'd live to see an Alpha Strike. Sure, the one we used on this planet was just a taste of a real full force strike, but the kind of this, this kind of destructive force we wield nowadays is insane. Sometimes I wonder if building bigger and better weapons really counted as technological process. But that's flawed logic. We'd never have been able to defend ourselves from the Kamado without some serious guns, so who's complaining? They're hiding something. Elite Crotera, along with the rest of our leaders, continues to deny any link between us and the humans. Aren't we genetically closer to origin than the Kamado? I don't like where this is going. I thought we should have went that way, maybe. Oh damn, there's a lot of split-offs here. I'm gonna hug the left. What's this say? Damn, Blitz. Whose bright idea was it to skip the infection check on one of the battle cruisers? The whole thing was crawling with blitz, and now they've spread across this human complex. The best part about these parasites is that isn't that they drain your armor and mirror pulse cycles. Oh no, those little creeps have to be invulnerable too. Some scientists say they're a miracle of te technology, a sentient life form consisting entirely of nano. I'm say I say I'm re requesting a transfer from this place if I find another of these pests in my boot tomorrow. Doesn't it just suck when you're armed to the teeth? But the only way to outdo some little blobs is to run around and catch them in jars? Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Yeet! Shoot, now I can't get back up there to heal. Oh well. Yeah! 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 Wait. As a result of upgrading your attack stat to level 10, you gain a special trait improved auto loading. Special traits are permanent and are earned for every stat that reaches level 10. Continue reading more info on this trait. With improved auto loading, the subroutine programming of your nano gun is enhanced, slowing the reload time of all non rapid fire weapons by 20%. This does not affect the time it takes to switch nano weapons. Oh, cool. So we're maxed and we get faster reloading. Sounds good to me. More time to kill. Oh, or a faster time to kill stuff. Tech all damage automatically. Tech all damage. I don't know what that means, but sure. What does tech all damage mean? I don't care. Whatever it means, I don't care what it means. Nano reflex. That was like a dodge chance or something, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Definitely doesn't seem to be the case. Once again, the music is very fitting right now. Alrighty, what should we upgrade next? Maybe strength? Or health? Now fuck that. Health's for bitches! Then again... And we, we can't really get any more armor or any more weapons without boosting our taste and stat and all that. You know what? Strength it is. We're gonna go full freaking full-fledged. I'm about to kick everybody down. About to kick everybody down. African not to die. 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 Yeet. Platform, what's this say? 
Tasing center of advertisement. Subject, Buster Gun. Oh boy. My good person, have you ever considered a replacement? Yes, the army may have given you a standard old machine gun, maybe even a rocket launcher if you were so lucky. But what we have here is something quite different. Why? It's a shotgun that fires thrice as fast as the regular flavor. Presenting the Buster Gun, the cutting edge of yesterday's technology at an affordable price. This hastily crafted combination of a shotgun and machine gun may not look much for the world and uses a questionable lot of ammunition but in the right hand and may just be a lifesaver. I'm not really sure. Look on the bright side. You'd rather be stuck in a planetary war with one of these by your side than a pack of blitz. Brought to you by Redundant Technologies. Inventing yesterday, today. Redundant Technologies strongly discourages any attempt to crack your nanogun to protect the nanogun weapon yourself. Don't do it, please. <laughs> I tried to speed that up so I could sound just like an advertisement. Didn't exactly work out all that well.